Welcome to all. In this video, we will learn how to solve a problem on square pyramid. Let us see a problem. A square pyramid, side of base 35 mm, axis length 60 mm, has one of the side of the base in HP. The axis of solid is inclined at 40 degree to HP and 30 degree to VP. Draw its projection when apex toward the observer. So, as usual, there are three stage problems. In first stage, we got the simple position by considering the axis of solid perpendicular to HP and in intermediate position, axis is inclined at 40, 40 degree to HP and third condition, axis is inclined 30 degree to VP. So, first of all, draw XY line and draw the initial position of square pyramid. So this is x y line in top you draw a square of size 35 mm Axis is given, axis is 60 mm. Give the names and dimension of square pyramid. and show the position of observer. Now in intermediate position, the axis is inclined at 40 degree to HP. So from this, it is inclined at 50 degree to HP. So take one point and draw a line at an angle of 50 degree. Take the midpoint and take axis at each 60 mm. So when it intersects at XY line, this angle becomes 40 degree.
Now show the position of observer. Now transfer the point of projection from front view to top view and top view to top view. Now case of visibility. When you are looking from top, first of all, make outline of objects. It should be dark line or visible line. Now the points 1 dash and 2 dash, it intersect the xy line, passing through points are invisible lines, but 1 dash and 2 dash represents itself a edge, so it becomes invisible lines. So join 1 to 2 lines by dotted lines or invisible lines. When you are looking from top, o dash to 3 dash and o dash to 4 dash is a dark line or visible lines, so join by it is visible lines again from o dash to 1 dash and o dash to 2 dash it is a invisible but it is a outer parts therefore it is a dark lines or visible lines and lastly join the axis now in final condition the axis is inclined at 30 degree to OP. It means that we want to change the top view. But here we can't take the true length because it is inclined 30 degree to VP with axis. Now true length of axis is 60 mm. But in uh, second condition, OS represents apparent length. It's uh, therefore it is determined the angle beta. So how to determine the angle beta? Let us see the procedure. First of all. Take one point which represents yes. From this point, yes, draw a line at an angle of 30 degree of size 60 mm, which gives the true inclination that is theta, which represents point O. This angle is pi. 30 degree. Now from point O draw a horizontal line again in compass take apparent length yes O in top view and mark at point yes and draw a R here you will get angle beta which is the apparent angle with VB. So measure this angle so this angle angle it becomes 43 degree so angle beta beta is 43 degree now in final conditions, the axis is inclined. So there are two conditions. Apex is toward the observer. So first of all, take one point and draw a line at an angle of 43 degree. And relocate top view as it is. So 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्रांसफर द मिड पॉइंट From that point, draw perpendiculars. Offset the distance. Locate point S. Yes. And join another point. and show the position of observer in final condition transfer all the points from top view to front view and front view to front view of an object locate all the points first of all transfer the point 1 and 2 1 and 2 present in xy line now case of visibility first of all draw the outer portion of the object it should be visible lines so draw 1 to 2 is a visible line again 2 to 3 again it is visible lines 3 to o again it is visible lines o to 1 again it is visible lines now last point is 4 passing through points 4 all are invisible lines so 4 to 1 and 4 to 3 Again, it is invisible lines. Again, four to O. Again, it is invisible lines. And two to O. It is nearer to observer. Therefore, it is dark line. And last one, you want to join axis. so this is your final position of square parameter thank you